encourage you also by giving thanks in the difficult times. Very often, giving thanks to God is based on our prevailing circumstances and how we feel about them. For example, if things are going our way, the children behaving themselves, there's food in the cupboard, gas prices low, we don't have a problem saying thank you God for your blessings. But if things are bad, maybe finances are low, vacation is over, we may fall quiet, we might even end up complaining and not giving thanks. But what does the scripture teach us? Psalm 34 verse 1 says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Here we see that scripture teaches us to give thanks in all circumstances, in the good, the bad, and the ugly. An example of giving thanks in hard times is found in Psalm 57. This is where the psalmist David's life was in danger. He was running for his life from King Saul and was hiding out in a cave. He cried out to God for help. But even in this terrible situation, he gave thanks to God. In both verse 5 and 11, he declared, Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above the earth. We could see that he gave thanks in spite of his circumstances and his feelings. This is what God wants. He wants us to give thanks in the midst of a national pandemic shutdown, in the midst of job losses, financial stress, sicknesses, and disappointment. And we can do this because no matter how bad our circumstances may be, in Christ we have hope and we have assurance that God will take us through and bring us out of all our pain and suffering. Paul makes this clear in Romans 8 verse 28 when he reassures us that we know that all things work together for good for them that love God to them who are called according to his purpose. God is able to work in and through all that happens to bring us good. He cares for us in the midst of our difficulties, so let's give him thanks. We can be thankful in the midst of difficult circumstances because God is greater than any ill that may be plaguing us. He is bigger than the COVID-19 pandemic, bigger than the new strain of the virus, bigger than the job markets, bigger than the world's economies. He's bigger than sickness and disease. He's bigger than that bad relationship and those stressful jobs. God is bigger. And when we understand this, we don't have to live in fear. We don't have to be complaining, but we can live in faith. And we can have thankful hearts to the God who is with us and provides for us in the good times, the bad times, and the in-between times. So a family discussion question. Why give thanks during the difficult times? Discuss what present and lasting results being thankful can produce in our lives. Why give thanks in the difficult times and what are the results? What are the benefits? Well, number one, it is good for us. It is good for us to give thanks. Psalm 92 verse 1 says, It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. We may not always know the reason, but it is a good thing to do. The Bible says it's a good thing to give thanks. Um, and especially with, with what's going on in the world right now, it's just to reiterate because I know it, it comes up all the time, even whether in your mind or not. God knows that these are the times we're living in. These are not easy times yeah. at all. Yeah. And the thing is God would tell us to do something if it wasn't possible for us to do. If he didn't empower us to do it, God knows what we are going through. And that is the God that said, in this life you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. That is just something I'm meditating on these days, actually, because that is the God that oh, he, God has overcome the world. God has won the battle already. Yeah. He is victory. We have the victory in him. In Christ, we have the victory. It is a good thing because remember, it's, it's a form of praise and it's an act of our faith. He inhabits our praise. We will be rewarded for our obedience. Yeah. So that's just, that's one of the reasons why we should give thanks in the difficult times. Definitely. Another reason that it is, is that giving thanks will keep our hearts in check. It keeps 
our hearts and our minds focused toward God. It's also a good gauge to see where our focus is. So for example, um, if, if you're not being thankful, so you might say something like, life real hard boy. But then if your mind is actually focused on God, you would say, yeah, life hard, but, yeah. but thank God. Thank God that I have help. Thank God that I can mm -hmm. still say that I have peace or he's provided for me. Yeah, yeah, it just goes back, I think, to the first, to the second week, where we spoke about practical ways to give thanks, and we spoke yeah. about, you know, yeah, developing right. habits, doing things on purpose, choosing to train yourself. It is a choice to mm -hmm. complain, as a choice to be thankful and make up. So that's that's a, that's a good point because it really, it puts us in check. Yeah, it it comes into our conversation, as you said, you know, sometimes you just naturally would say, but thank God. But you are thanking God. Yeah. You are actually, it's actually coming out of you yeah. to say thank God and say it, speak it out loud. You, you know, it's, let it let it be our praise and a deliberate thing even in these difficult times. It's difficult times, yes, but you thank God in the difficult times. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, another one is that giving, th giving thanks strengthens our faith in God. As we said, yeah. you know, we're saying it out loud. By thanking God, we're choosing to trust Him in our situation rather than living in fear and relying on our own strength. Uh, Isaiah 12, 2 says, Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. With these difficult times, a lot of people are living in fear. Mm -hmm. Fear is a real thing that a lot of us might be dealing with. But when we give thanks, it actually strengthens our faith in God. The God that told us to give thanks in everything, that is the God who did not give us a spirit of faith, but of power of love and of a sound mind. And that's just what we have. Don't forget to do your discussion at home because everybody, every age group, is a difficult time we're living in. Mm -hmm. Regardless of your age, whatever sect you're in, whether it's a school yeah, issue, a job issue, yeah. whatever is the life issue, and discuss it. One we have, and think about it, giving thanks brings, brings the victory. Think of Paul and Silas in Acts chapter 16, because that's what we're talking about next week. Giving thanks for a miracle, and it's giving thanks and then getting the miracle. Yep. So that's what we're talking about next week.